Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Comment ça va? Threw that in there, Just throwing you off. Somebody was asking me the other day if I have ever made fried chicken in the air fryer. And I was like, you know, I've never done fried chicken in the air fryer. It's not something I do. I didn't do it before the air fryer, so. Uh, usually get fried chicken from Popeye's maybe once a year. That's the best fried chicken in the world, if you ask me. So I was like, you know, I have like, I think four thighs with skin on it. I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to try it just for you guys. We're going to try some fried chicken in there. You guys ready? This doesn't hurt. Chin chin. All right, my dears. The first thing I did is I, I had four uh, chicken breasts with skin and bone that I brined in buttermilk overnight. So, so you can only do it for like two hours if you want, but I, I had it in there overnight. It doesn't matter. All right, so let's mix the stuff up first. Now, you can do any kind of seasoning you want. I like spicy chicken, especially from Popeye's, so I'm going to try to make a spicy fried chicken. So, but do, you know, do the spices you want. That's about two and a half cups of flour, judging on how much chicken you're going to do. And here I have a cup of cornstarch. I have learned when I'm doing fried stuff to mix flour and cornstarch together. It makes a beautiful coating. Okay. Here I got two teaspoons of hot paprika. Again, I'm doing spicy fried chicken. So that's two teaspoons of that. And again, going with the spicy, I've got some uh, slap your mama. It's about two tablespoons. And that's a Cajun seasoning. You can make your own. It's a lot of cayenne pepper and it's very salty. So I'm not adding any salt to this. And we're still on the spicy kick. Here is two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for now. So I'm gonna mix that up and then we'll add the chicken and I'll show you what it looks like. And after it's all coated and stuff, I'm gonna put it back in the fridge for a couple hours. So let me do that. All right, so I got it all mixed up. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a three piece, um, it's called the Batter Pro. I got it. You can get it at Bass Pro. I think it's a blue one now. It's like an uh, oval shape. It's not like this round shaped one. But um, I found that one at a yard sale for two bucks. Brand new, so. But it is from Bass Pro. So, dredge off as much as you can off that uh, chicken. And they have, these are some big friggin' thighs, you guys. So. I'm glad I did a lot of flour mixture. Cause it, look at the size of this. Look at this. Look at the size of that. Drays them. Fit in there. Okay. It's gonna be heavy. But this thing, boy, I tell you what, you don't waste a lot of batter with this thing. Cause it goes right through the holes. I mean, you could do a gallon bag, but you know how it gets all clumpy and sticky and stuff. This doesn't do that. All right, so mix that up. All right, so I'm gonna put that in the fridge for a couple hours. We'll be back. I guess you guys want to see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Look at that. See how well coated it is, and then see all the batter on the bottom. I think it works. Awesome. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so we chilled the chicken for a couple of hours. Of course, take the paddle out. I'm gonna spray it with some olive oil spray. No reason, that skin's gonna create a lot of juice, I think, but I don't know. This is the first time making fried chicken, so we'll see. So, look how big these things are, crazy. So I am going to try to fit all four of those in there. And I'm putting in like the skin side up. I'm going to have the uh, bottom burner on as well. If you have a Cook's Essential, it doesn't have a paddle, so you're good to go there. And I'm, I, I'm thinking about, I was going to do it at a four, which is 
like 400 degrees I think I'm guessing I'm not a an expert at this so but that's the highest when you fry stuff I think I'm gonna put it at a four at first to get the skin all crispy fried and you know when you when you um, when you fry stuff with a batter with a dry batter like that you're gonna get some dry flour spots when you get that spray a little olive oil spray on there and you're good to go it's gonna work trust me so let's put the bottom top one uh, like I said let's do a four to begin with to get it a little crispy and then we'll spray some olive oil on top if we have to I don't know let's see how it goes we'll be back all right guys it's been about 20 minutes Look at that. Do you hear that? Do you see that? Do you see that oil? Creates enough oil, so. But I'm gonna spray some olive oil. You see the white flower spots there? Just spray some oil on there. And you're good to go. Let's keep her going. We're still at a four. We'll be back. All right, guys, look at this. It's about 30 minutes and that is freaking crispy fried fried. Let me check the temperature. Yes, sometimes I use this digital thermometer. Oh, 172, 174, 178. All right, let's turn it down to a two. I'm gonna do this for a couple more minutes and then we'll plate it. We'll be back. All right, guys. Here it is. Not beautiful. I'm really surprised at how well it turned out. All right. Now remember, mine is spicy, so let's see how she looks inside. Where oh, she's popping hot. She is piping hot. Just wanted to show you how well it's cooked. So that was, what, 25 minutes? On a, well, 20, about 15 minutes on a four, and then 10 minutes on a three. Look at that. Cooked to perfection. Let me tell you, when you put meat in the air fryer, it's t tender and moist and ridiculous. Can you hear the crispiness? Okay, this is hot. Oh, that's, oh yeah. You guys, if you want spicy fried chicken, that was good. Whatever the heck I did there. It's hot, but it's going in. Mmm. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that skin. Just to show you how crispy it is. You hear that? Yep. Delicious. We did fried chicken. Yes, sir. Thanks for shopping. Bye.